Okay, hello and welcome everybody, this is Dr. Destiny here. Uh, we're doing a little different video here today, covering the NL Shadow 701X. It's not your typical scout rifle, but obviously I personally think it's still pretty good. I managed to get one the other day, and with semi-decent perks, uh, and roll with it. This is similar, but maybe not as slow as the Minor Multi Tool. Minor Multi Tool is quite fast of a scout rifle but it has a bit more precision and obviously you have the different perks to go with it like uh, radar or third eye etc etc the agility and all that type of jazz this one has a faster fire rate but it's more of a spammable type of scout rifle if it makes any sense kind of like the Sirius Disc 43 but maybe a little bit more tappy so when you're pressing the, uh, the triggers you have to obviously tap it quite a lot to obviously get the repeated shots which you'll be able to see in the background now we're going to be playing on Russ's lands, which is kind of more suited for this type of engagement or mid to long range. Obviously, using sniper as well to go with it. Uh, on previous matches, I was doing stuff like Drifter, and I had what was the other one? I think it was Cauldron, which obviously close quarter maps didn't do so well because a lot of the people in the lobby were using Last Word, which is obviously shock horror surprise. Obviously, with the current meta, so it kind of probably. For 45% of the time you can probably kill some of last word but majority of the time they are going to kill you because they're spammable bullets will be able to kill you the fast fire rate compared to this one even though this one is quite fast anyways enough of the waffle I'm going to say what one I've got what type of perks you're going to be needing and obviously what stuff you should look out for which will boost it up which may kill a bit more godly and a little bit more suitable for crucible there are better scout rifles out there but this is still up there. I'd say this is probably tier 2 for the scout rifles. There's obviously better ones like Maiden and stuff like that. But if you want to get rid of the exotic and have a legendary one, this will be a good fit. Obviously, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, you like these type of weapon reviews, then please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and also tell me what roles you've got on this weapon and if you actually like it yourself. If you have got it and you've not really used it, go try it out in the crucible and see what you think. So the one I have got, we're going to go with the lenses first, obviously the attachments, so we've got Focus Lens FLS2, Agile Scope, Modest Zoom, Light and Snappy, Range Lens RLR5, Position Scope, super, Superb Effective Range, Heavy with Poor Recoil Control, and the one that I'm using, True Sight IS, Flexible Sight, Light with Good Recoil Control and Strong Target Acquisition, obviously to help with the shots. I've managed to get Hot Swap, ready in this weapon grants a brief period of bonus accuracy. So if I'm on a long range map like this with Sniper, obviously if I swap over then that helped me out. We have Field Scout, increases carried ammo uh, cap. We have Brace Frame, which is increases stability, reduces magazine size. So previously I was on 21 in a magazine. But obviously you're having this, it's reduced it by 4 bullets to 17. 17 is kind of alright anyways, so not too bad and obviously I've got the stability to help me out. The bottom one is custom optics, which are pretty naff. Precision glass for better zoom, and then we've got outlaw, which obviously is amazing on pretty much most guns. Precision kills with super dramatically increased reload speed. And like I said, if you've got less bullets, which I have for this, it also definitely helps out with some engagements. And with spamming bullets, which you'll probably see in the background, there's some engagements where I, you, I'm just literally just spamming and hoping I hit something. Um, obviously, you need to have that quick reload after you get killed. So the rate of fire, we have 52. Obviously, like I said, it's very high. Impact 37, not the best, but it still packs a punch. Range 55. This is where, when we go to the perk side, you probably want to try and increase it a little bit. So if you've got something which can help you out with it, then obviously this would be best suited. Stability 79, but that's because I've got brace frame on. So again, you probably get something between 50s, maybe 60s if you're lucky, um, as a baseline, unless you get, oh, so, uh, unless you get something else which obviously increases that. Reload is very high actually, it's 71, and obviously Outlaw, so it's going to increase that. So, stuff you're going to look out for. So the first perks, which I've obviously mentioned, was Outlaw, that's one I've got. You can get Grenadier, Third Eye, Underdog, Gorilla Fighter, Hidden Hand. Hidden Hand is probably the best one you probably want to get for that. So it gains better target acquisition. Uh, Reactive Reload, which is on the Finnish Peril, which was just sold in the Iron Banner. Reload needs to open after kill grants damage bonus for a short time. So if you did match that with Outlaw, then it'd be pretty good because so obviously you're getting the fast reloads and then obviously you get extra damage after it. So it's a double whammy. You probably only really need one out of the two, but either way, pretty good. The other round of selection you can get is either Storm, Life Support, Last Resort, Exhumed, Icarus, Triple Tap. 
This is probably a little bit more PvE wise. The rapid landing position hits will return one round to the magazine, so obviously they go with that. Hot swap with what I've got. And then these are the two that you probably want to get. Zen moment causes damage when this weapon increased. Causes damage with this weapon increases its stability. So again, if you've got more range but less stability, that will be the perk you want to get. And then crowd control kills this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time, which is always always good on a weapon like that. Uh, the lenses, which I'm not going to go too much detail, they're pretty good. Uh, for the middle frame, or middle uh, option for selection for perks, you've got custom optics, which I got, which is rubbish, oil frame, rifle bow, which is probably the best one. It does reduce the reload, but the reload is quite high anyways. Small bore, it's dependent on the build of the weapon, could potentially be good. We have explosive rounds, which are good for PvE, not for this, armor piercing rounds, etc., high caliber rounds. Perfect balance, so this weapon has increased, has extremely low recoil, very, very good. Probably the one you should look out for, but unfortunately I got Field Scout instead. Uh, injection Mold, handmade Stock, Feather Mag, Custom Mag, and then Brace Frame. Uh, Brace Frame is the one I've got. I think that's probably actually the best one out of them, to be perfectly honest. You know, you can mix it up depending on what ones you get. So overall, I quite like this weapon. Again, it's probably not the best out there. I'll oh, just check stability. Stability baseline is 40 on this weapon. Obviously, depending on what perks you get, it does boost up. So actually, I didn't do too bad with that. I've got 79 with uh, brace frame, and then with the lens as well, I think it increased it as well, a little bit as well. Uh, and if it else the same on that, 52, 37, 55. Yes, it's actually that is increased. Uh, my reloads increased from 65 to 71. So I was checking the armory on Bungie.net and that's what's given me is the baseline stats that we get with this weapon. But overall, pretty good. I quite like it. Um, it kind of slept on me. Like I think that I got this from a Crucible package, if mistaken me, if I'm not mistaken. This is obviously a year one weapon which is brought to year two. But overall, pretty good. Go check it out, see if you enjoy it. And then uh, tell me in the comment section below if you managed to get something which is pretty good. God rolls with it. It's definitely something I like to do in Crucible. Unfortunately, with the meta, it has shifted to Last Word and a few other little guns, which are not pretty much same and boring. I do like to test new weapons out. Sometimes it takes a few matches to get any decent gameplay, because obviously you just get wrecked by the meta, and obviously the kill time is too slow with the weapon that you're currently using, depending on what it is. Um, but, you know, there's some weapons out there which are pretty good, and I suggest just everyone just try some out. Just break the meta, try something different. And just enjoy yourself with it because it does make it a little bit stale. If I were to go try hard, I'd be using Last Word, wrecking everyone, uh, Mighty Mortal, like I can easily do it. It's obviously I like to challenge myself, especially in Rumble as well, which is just one on one engagements or obviously sometimes two to one or crossfire across the map, blah blah blah. But um, I do enjoy these type of challenges with different weapons and then so on and so forth. Well, obviously, with the Rise of Iron coming up, new weapons that will be introduced, I'll be doing them once they're released. Obviously, some quest lines, stuff like that. So, if you're interested in the channel and like that type of stuff, then obviously hit the subscribe button and then carry on watching the rest of the video. I'll carry on to the end. I have some music on in the background. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the next weapon review. See you later, Guardians. Bye bye.